Hello, my dear friends. How are you? My name is Ari Thurger, and today I'm going to talk about the rune Yera. Yera literally means here. It is the rune that represents the cycle of an year, ending with the harvest. Not just referring to an agricultural cycle, but harvest in the sense of obtaining your reward after a cyclical process of right actions. You will reap what you sow. This is the moment you will see the reactions to your cyclical actions. When this rune appears in a rune reading, you will get the reward you deserve according to your actions. You will be aware of the cyclical nature of your past decisions which brought you to a gradual and lasting change in the flow of life, in the cycle of life. The previous runes were Hagalas, Nautis and Hisa, the three runes that represent a flow of negativity in our lives. Everything turned upside down and the very foundations of our existence shakes and everything changes. Change is forced upon us, a short-term pain for a long-term gain. Next to these runes comes Yera, which expresses a rising, becoming something better, something greater, prepared for a new arising. Yera is the reward for honorable and right past actions. If the sowing is done correctly and if luck is on your side, the reaping will be great. Remember this, every time you feel like your life has turned into a great storm, turning to root you out, stand firm, bury your roots deep, act honorably and make the right decisions, because eventually Yera will appear in your life, a new cycle, a new beginning, and when that time comes, you will want to harvest the positive reactions to your past actions. It's just like the cycle of the sun, when winter is in your life, the warmth and light are gone. But if you stand your ground and survive, you will see another rising of the sun, another summer. Yera originally meant fertile season or harvest time, which gives us an indication of a fruitful time filled with prosperity and success. This rune represents a particular favorable moment. The earth offers her harvest on a ripened field a metaphor for your own life and all the actions and decisions you have chosen to put in it will give their rewards. All your efforts, all the sweat and hard work is never in vain. It might take some time, of course, but you will eventually receive your rewards and sometimes others will also ben benefit from it and your reward may not be something material or it won't directly change your life but will change the life of those who matter to you and your reward might be just that to see that all your hard work kept someone safe protected happy prosperity flows because of you let's take a look at some myths to perceive the essence of this rune and how our ancestors explained its meaning through metaphors to easily remember the practical uses in many ancient societies, the Earth was seen as a living organism, an entity who provided life, an ancient constant presence, very knowledgeable, therefore very powerful, giving birth to all things and taking all that died to provide new life, new existence. The Earth became a sacred entity, so naturally the Earth was a divine being, a goddess. Rivers flow like blood, the earth sprouts grass, trees and flowers like hair, the winds are its breath, etc. Our ancestors had this clear perception that the earth was alive the same way we did, and we were its children. Our Norse ancestors venerated the earth in the form of two deities, Freyr and Freya, two fertility deities, two polarities which provided life. They are the children of Njordr, Nertos, which in older myths had the same role of their children, the king and queen of the Vanir, fertility deities. Many were the Nordic kings who took the name of Freyr or were said to be the direct descendants of Freyr because their reign was one of peace and prosperity. Take the example of the Danish king Froti, said to be the son of Freyr, and his name in itself is a title held by the god Freyr, meaning luxuriant. Freyr and Freya were two divines whose representations were born about the countryside during fertility rituals to bring peace, prosperity and plenty. Brother and sister and the, the 
are, are the divine embodiment of the luxuriant growth of the earth provides. And let's not forget that Freya is one of the few survivors after Ragnarok. She is the representation of the fertility of the earth, which will endure and sprout again after the end of a cycle. Now let's talk about the meaning of this rune when it appears in a rune reading. The summer harvest provides food for winter, and the seeds from that same harvest become the next summer's crop. Which means, when this rune appears in a rune reading, you will do well to ready yourself for future events. Act with wisdom, so your future plans may come better than you expected. Don't waste away all your energy. Store some, because you will need it in the future. Winter is long and requires a lot of energy to survive it. As said before, the era comes directly after the row of three winter runes, Hagalas, Nauthis and Hisa. Thus, it gives you a sense of relief, the same feeling reflected in nature with the arrival of spring and summer after cold, harsh and hard days. Yera marks the return of life, the return of good times, the long-term gain and the reward for having survived. Yera marks the end of a phase and the immediate new beginning. The presence of this rune in a rune reading predicts a time when your present trials will end and you can make a fresh start. Go for it! As this rune is associated with the harvest and the concept of reaping the rewards of your past efforts, its appearance signifies a completion of a project and now you can celebrate with joy and relief. The essence of Yera is much like the very nature of Earth with all its seasons. It's not about the time of the cycle of the seasons, but the rhythm, the flow of nature. It's an unstoppable energy, unhurried, but persistent and indifferent to our hasty impulses. So Yera's changes are not sudden and cannot be forced. So you will have to make gradual changes in your life every day. These gradual daily actions will provide you with what you need in the future. This is why Yera is also connected to the number 12, which suggests the 12 months of a year. This doesn't mean that you have to wait a year for good times to come again, just that the abundant good luck of this rune may last a considerable period. It may take some time and effort to reach the successful conclusions that you desire. What I mean with all of this is that be aware that you cannot expect fast results on anything. When this rune appears in a rune reading, it indicates that you have to have patience and trust time. You have prepared the earth and sowed, now you need to treat your sowing carefully. Those who work during a whole season at the end of that period will have success. There is no way to make a river run faster and you, you too cannot accelerate the harvesting process. Be aware that patience is essential for the recognition of your own progress, which in time will bear fruit. Yera is a rune of patience and movement with the harmony of the natural tides of life. Moving with such life rhythms brings abundance and plenty. Alright my dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed yet another video about the runes. Thank you so much for watching, see you on the next video and as always, bye for